Welcome back to VV Flex, and today I wanted to go over the drop that's happening tomorrow, April 20th. VV is dropping the Amazing Spider Man issue 122. Now, let's read up a little bit about it. And it says, Part 2 The Death of Norman Osborne. It's the Green Goblin's last stand as Spider Man seeks vengeance for the death of Gwen Stacy. Now, the drop price for this comic book NFT is going to be $6.99. It was published in 1973. It's going to have five different cover variants and a total edition size of only $5. Now let's take a look at each cover individually. The first one's going to be a common with 3,000 editions. And I really like this cover. It's action packed here, showing Spider-Man holding the dead body of Gwen Stacy. We see the Green Goblin coming towards him, telling him that he killed Gwen Stacy and Spider-Man's next. And Spider-Man's pretty much telling him, you killed the girl that I love and today's the day that you die. So this is a really sick cover here. Now the next one's going to be classified as an uncommon. This one's going to have 1,125 editions. And for a black and white cover, this one's really good. I like how they hide Highlighted all the main characters here, including the Spider Man there on the upper left hand panel. So, this is a pretty good uncommon cover for me. Now, the next one's going to be classified as a rare. This one's going to have 500 editions. And this updated cover, I like the concept like when Stacy's sitting down and behind her, you see the time is kind of like running out with the sand there. But one thing that I don't like is how they drew Gwen Stacy's face. She kind of looks a little bit goofy, so I'm not really liking this cover. Now the next one's going to be classified as an ultra rare. This one's going to have 250 editions. This one looks better now that it's in color. You can see more detail of the back there, but again, the face is not doing it for me. Now the next one's going to be classified as a secret rare. This one's going to have 125 editions. And I'm really liking the secret rare. Again, they put all the characters there. You see the Green Goblin coming towards Spider-Man and Spider-Man's holding Gwen Stacy. So for a secret rare cover, even though the background is fully white, I think this one's pretty cool. Now let's take a look at what the real world value of this comic book is. And according to GoCollect.com, a 9.6 goes for $1,850, a 9.2 goes for $625, 9.0 goes for $450, and an 8.0 goes for $425. Now, is this comic book a hold or a sell? I'm going to say that this comic book is a sell. I don't really see that it has too much value compared to other comic books that have come out in the past, but I will be getting one of these, at least a common, maybe even uncommon in the aftermarket for me personally. Um, I think the story's pretty cool. I like the fact that Spider-Man and kind of turns into a vigilante in this one and actually kills the Green Goblin. So I think the story's pretty cool. I'm liking the uncommon and the common cover and the secret rare cover. I might go for it because I kind of like the cover. So maybe I'll gamble to get the secret rare. I think I'll just decide tomorrow last minute. If not, I'll probably just wait for the aftermarket. I figure these will probably go under the retail, probably the common or the uncommon. Again, this is not financial advice. Guys, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you think about each one of these covers. And let me know if you think this the, the common and the uncommon might go under retail in the marketplace. Like, comment, share, subscribe. And as always, stay flexing. VV Flex out.